Hello, I'm Sean Zanders. I am the lead resident advisor and youth leadership coordinator at Covenant House. Tonight, we have the privilege of taking you on a vicarious journey. The video you're about to see is but a glimpse of the path that has taken so many residents and alumni to a place of strength, healing, and hope at Covenant House. Enjoy. Hi, I am McQuill Fisher, Covenant House, Texas resident of 2011. Hi, my name is Chris Sawyer. I'm from Covenant House, Houston, Texas of the year 1999-2000. Hi, I'm Jasmine Johnson, Covenant House, Texas resident of 2008. Hi, my name is Dylan Williamson, Covenant House resident 2013. Hi, my name is Ann Lee, Covenant House resident of 2013. Hi, my name is Trisha Kyle, Covenant House resident of 1989. Hi, my name is DeMarco Kunis, uh, Covenant House resident of 2012. Hi, I am Tiffany Lunsford, Covenant House resident since 2012. Hi, I'm Alicia Blacher, Covenant House Texas resident of 2005. I came to Covenant House Texas because I was, I was homeless and I needed a place to stay. I didn't have anywhere to go. Financial issues. I've been abandoned, abused when I was little, and neglected. Because I was lost, tossed, abandoned, manipulated, and very, very much broken. Due to family issues. It was my only option. I was just released from jail, and I'm not from Texas, so I didn't have any relatives I can contact, and I really was, this was, this was it for me. I was abandoned from my family. I was considered a runaway and throwaway youth. I'd been, um, I ran away at the age of 15 and didn't have any place to go. Covenant House helped me understand that there is more in life. Build confidence. Became friends with everyone here, staff members, residents. To be more structured, um, they also helped me to learn to manage my time and set different goals in my life. Get a job, get a GD, and get a direction in life. Covenant House Texas has made me a better person and a better mom. This place not only helped me, but mostly taught me. And one of the strongest lessons I've ever overcome being here was to turn homelessness into hope. Gain independence um, to help others and to keep independence. Address some of the issues in my life. They helped me to actually see a future for myself and for my family. Um, I was gainfully employed um, by being here. The documentation that I needed, I was able to get um, assistance for myself and my children I got. Um, I found a home. Um, they took care, they helped me see a life for myself. Now I'm a full-time student at Texas Southern University, majoring in social work and working two jobs. I got married and had four beautiful children and I'm back here in Houston, Texas. Um, and I just want to show my gratitude to Covenant House for, uh, for helping me get a, a good start. I am currently an employee at the VA Michael E. DeBakey Hospital and I assist veterans, disabled veterans, homeless veterans with their needs. Now I am employed at Walmart. Um, I'm now going into a group home and going into school soon. Now I am a full-time mom and this is my daughter, Janaya. Hi. I am now a part-time visual merchandiser at Forever 21 and going to school on the other half of my time. Now I am a full-time employee with Mary Brother Construction and look forward to growing in that field, uh, learning as much as possible and taking advantage of my time. Now I am a full-time employee at Walgreens. Now I am in my secular work, I'm a center manager for Ace Cash Express. Um, I'm an evangelist. I sit on the board of a women's center. Uh, it's a shelter for abused women. 
I uh, am a gospel singer and songwriter. I go around and I speak to youth as well as to young women. I'm a women's teacher. I teach biblical principles to women and the president of a women's um, ministry within our church. I am paying it for by by volunteering and helping staff members heal. By giving a helping hand to my community. I'm paying it for is every time I see a homeless, a homeless kid that's 18 or 19 is I'll ask them if they'd like to go to Covenant House or I'll talk to them about Covenant House and I'll, I'll give them the website, give them the information or I'll even buy them uh, you know, a cheeseburger or you know, and to show them what kind of gratitude. I mean, that's my way of paying it for is to show somebody uh, how much uh, uh, somebody cared for me, I could care for them the same way. Because I, you know, I know for me, I wasn't picked up by, by anybody but Covenant House, but I had, but God gave me the uh, the opportunity through somebody else by sharing what happened. By allowing myself to get spiritually built, so that I can come back to these young men and young women that don't really have too many influences in their lives, and perhaps share my experiences, share what I went through, possibly help them accomplish their goals or get through any struggles that they're currently experiencing. I am paying it forward by being a help. Um, I am an encourager by nature. I believe that to whom much is given, much is required. And so I see it as my, my job, my, my mission, my ministry to help encourage um, young people that are in the same situation that I was in, to help encourage women, um, to see a hope and a future for their lives and to know that whatever temporary struggles they're having right now, it's only temporary and there is hope. Volunteering at the Covenant House and telling young you about the Covenant House. Covenant House gave me a family when I had no family and now I'm showing Covenant House my gratitude for the family I have. Hello, I'm Devin DeGray. Same place, same time, one year later. The champion building process continues. In just one short year, my life has been ripe with growth and success. I continue to enjoy a rich plethora of growth here at my stay at Covenant House, Texas. My mentor and I, Mr. Sean, continue to strategically chart a course towards victory. Shortly after sharing my story at last year's gala, I began to spend my free time at Harris County Courts, educating myself on the legal process, conversing with attorneys, writing legal briefs, and conducting legal research. Thereafter, I was accepted at Boston University's paralegal program and successfully completed the course with a 3.7 GPA. Thereafter, I was presented with an opportunity of employment with Hayes and McCon Law Firm. I was honored with a congressional nomination to attend the United States Air Force Academy by Congress, Congressman Ted Poe. I conceptualized my own nonprofit organization entitled Lost and Found. The Lost and Found initiative is designed to educate fathers on the ravishing impact their absence has on their kids. I was blessed to receive a significant promotion at Hayes and McCon Rice and Pickering. My salary benefit package is excess of $45,000 annually. It's a great beginning and I am truly blessed. I came to Covenant House in a personal state of crisis seeking answers and hoping for a brighter day. Today is brighter and the path of my life is illuminated. To be continued, I actually just begun. Thank you.